Alright, so here we are, and uh, once again in Cities Gaming as the blue side starting to the Not west, the opponent's team efficiency as the yellow team to the east. Yeah, they put like the tank lineup right now. Efficiency going with a pretty mobile setup right there. Only one heavy T32, three T69s, and one MX13. So uh, uh, much more mobility coming out from their side, whereas in Cities Gaming going with a, a pretty, uh, a little bit more defensive slash kind of a. Uh, it's a more safe pick, I have to say. Definitely, you know, going with two MX-50s, two T-32s, and a uh, WZ-132. I mean, you can't really get any safer than that. All you got to do is post up your MX-50s in the, in the back line, have your T-32s up there in the front, and have your uh, 132 kind of roaming around, and then you should be golden. And right now, actually, oh. I'm liking this. Um, as a matter of fact, in Cities Gaming have taken the long way to uh, to the Northern Pass because they kind of they kind of I think predicted that uh, team efficiency would squat the uh, the peninsula uh, hell top and that's exactly the what they did. Exactly. So uh, basically, in order to avoid crack shots from the gecko, they took uh, the long way up uh, to the north, which is very wise actually. So uh, no damage dealt early on, and uh, they quite they can now they can quite comfortably just squat uh, the uh, airstrip area. Yeah, so uh, yeah, they made it quite safely all the way up there, so they're going to pretty much like squat those hangars uh, right next to at uh, the entrance of the Northern Pass. Uh, so uh, very well done. Uh, at the same time, the uh, I I'm, I'm assuming they only left like both T1s at their base, so uh, their base is wide open for capture. Uh, well, oh, we could see we could see Griffs take a little bit of no. He actually doesn't. Comics not going for the shot right though because he doesn't want to get spotted and give away his position. But look at this long range engagement going on right now between Death yeah. Skies, uh, a couple of members of Insidious Gaming, actually and three Dejus members of Insidious. Well. Yeah, oh. three members. Uh, Predator, of Gaming. Dejus against uh, yeah three uh, three members, but they had the elevation, so uh, no damage dealt. Yep, no damage has been dealt just yet, and uh, some reposition actually coming out from Team Efficiency right now. I think Both they. Teams actually. Yeah, I think Efficiency gonna pull up their medium T369s towards the northern pass. Yeah, they're gonna come back and defend this because yeah, they realize, yeah, yeah. okay, you know what, we were, whatever advantage we had by squatting the middle is now lost because these guys have made it quite comfortably to the north. So unless we send more tanks out there, like uh, uh, whoever we left there is gonna be absolutely outnumbered. So uh, it's probably comics too with his 1390. Yep, definitely so, so uh, they and definitely have to just come back and defend this. Uh, I don't think they've got any other option but to do that right now. Yeah, in Cities Gaming, they are slowly creeping over there to the eastern side. Well, they I mean, feeling quite mildly comfortable. I mean, look at the yeah, tanks yeah, they've yeah. gone. I mean, even those T, uh, two T-32s, they can uh, they can withstand quite a bit of damage in the front lines. And uh, needless to say, of course, those MX-50s 100s are ideal to provide cover fire as well. So, uh, yeah, if I were them, I'd feel pretty comfortable myself. <laughs> yep. Just yeah, uh, charging yeah. in like that. I mean, besides they're in the cover of rocks right now, and uh, the whatever chance efficiency had of sniping them out from the middle is now gone. Uh, so uh, they just have to be careful about how they approach this. But in terms of sheer power, 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 I think they really do have the advantage. Yeah, it's really gonna. I mean, now the fight's just gonna come down to a medium to close range engagement. Yeah. Um, since both teams have actually made it to this northern part of the map, uh, we're most likely gonna see. Most likely gonna see Insidious Gaming just slowly creep over there. Possibly they're gonna be really getting shots like around right. the rocks, going back and like weaving yeah. in, in and out. They gotta be really careful just uh, uh, proceeding through uh, that uh, that pass though, because it's a bottleneck. Yeah. Uh, the way that efficiency have positioned themselves right now is brilliant because uh, they, they actually. Botek is actually in a, a little bit of a risky position, although he has the option of just you know coming down the hill. He's very well covered though. Uh, yeah. He's extremely well covered because all his partners, three of three of his partners are to the north. Uh, so that's that's a wonderful shooting angle uh, from an elevated spot uh, to where Botek actually is. So uh, yeah, it's just going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty interesting uh, to see how. Because a lot of it is in Insidious right now. Uh, if I were them, I'd actually just attack from the water at this point and uh, forsake the northern pass. Maybe leave one tank just for illusion's sake, but I'd try to uh, uh, recenter my forces because if they push like through that open area to the northern pass, uh, they would be at a disadvantage. They'd be shot from like four different directions. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the CS gaming definitely have to play this Look at, uh, yeah, a little bit more unexpected. Right, because right now they're charging into the open, and I'm really not sure that's wise. Uh, this guy, as soon as he comes out of these rocks, he's going to get blown to bits. He's going to be very careful here. I mean, he's got a T32, but yeah. yeah he oh, it's spotted each other, like Mega Joe and this guy's training shots here, but uh, no damage dealt. Oh, Botek's still not being spotted. There he goes. Oh, Botek there he spotted. goes. Like, Bo Botek has been spotted, and oh, this guy's. Oh, trade. Yeah, this guy's. This guy's is. Oh, missing a shot Ooh. here, so uh, he's 
taking a lot of damage. Actually, oh, you see, that's the thing. Man. It's the crossfire. It is exactly. He might go down here. That's the crossfire I was talking about. And yeah. there you go. He goes down. Yeah, he Once goes again, down. it's just as soon as you come out in the open, you get punished, obviously. Yeah. Obviously, look at the positioning from Team Efficiency. It's a perfect sniping spot. Like, Botech is just bait out there. Yeah, they just unleashed those autoloaders on those T69s, and there's absolutely nothing that those guys can do. He repaired his track once. The second he repaired it, it got damaged again. Honestly, I just could smell that from a mile away. I mean, yeah, yeah. given given uh, both teams' positions, I really think that Insidious Gaming should have played this a little more cautious later. Or at least sent both T32s doing that, because it's just one clearly was not enough. Yeah, but in CD's game, are just going to go for this push right now because they realize that if they just continue this long range engagement, they are going to lose eventually. But look at Nisa taking a lot of damage right now. Same with I'm so Danzy and uh, both take is yeah, I mean, slightly it's just low the spread. as well. Uh, yeah. The spread is just the firing angles. Look at that. You've got that tank all the way up to the northeast that's dealing so much punishment as well. And we're talking T69s here, so uh, plenty of uh, firepower as well. And it's Comics just coming in from behind. It's just the multiple angles like that are really just uh, uh, putting uh, Insidious players into a world of trouble. I mean, look at that. Everybody took damage except Gritz. Gritz is the only undamaged tank out there uh, amongst the Tier 8. Nisa is pretty much like virtually a shot away. Comics is probably going to go down here, yeah. Comics does go down, so technically it's a tie, but not really. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, just the hit points difference is quite substantial. However, Insidious Gaming are playing this really well. They're staying all together and clumped up as a group, so they it's are the a only single chance force right there. Now. It's the only chance, but they've got to retreat. Yeah. They can't just stay where they are. It's just, uh, look at the damage they've suffered right now. So yes, they did manage to uh, tie up things, but they got to retreat. They can't just stay where they are. They're going to get punished otherwise. And look at that Insidious uh, efficiency, sensing that, and now you can't see it on the screen, but they're, These guys they're are slowly pushing, out pushing way too late. Way too late, actually. They yeah. should have been trying to catch Insidious Gaming in that retreat there, and they would have most likely secured this set. But now it's still up in the air. If they if these tanks get caught now, if it's, if Insidious Gaming decides to stop somewhere like behind a rock, exactly, and, and wait for them in ambush, yeah, yeah, and know. then if Invisi walks into that or drives into that, then they could be in some trouble. Yes, uh, very much so. And uh, yeah, the efficiency tanks have taken damage too. I mean, both takes down to about 300 as T1 well. T1 goes down there. Yeah, T1 goes down, and that is on, uh, well, the uh, Insidious uh, Gaming's advantage, oh, actually. So an extra tier point uh, here for them. So, uh, yeah, actually, right now, it's just, uh, once again, uh, I really think that, uh, like you said, uh, and the uh, efficiency missed their chance to uh, close the set. Had they given chase much earlier on, uh, they would have been able to take out an extra tank, I think, yeah. uh, during yeah. the Insidious Retreat. Or at least got one really low. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, right now, it's a lot closer than uh, it should be, uh, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I mean, if you look at Botech, you know, D-Juice here, they all have taken quite substantial damage. It's honestly pretty even right now. I mean, the hit points, I'll, although I think Insidious Gaming did, you know, just take a little bit overall. Oh, and look at that overall. Mega Jewel right now, and D-Juice charging in, and Gritz is all alone here. Gritz no is all way. alone. He's got to watch out. He, he's healthy, but uh, he won't withstand two tanks at once. Support oh, has got to support. come. He needs he support. He needs support right now. Right now, actually, just, uh, well, the MX-50 is doing, oh, two tanks going wow. down. Wow. <laughs> That's the actually, auto loader it's, it's for you. This gaming actually is gonna come out. On I top know. Of this. That's the auto loader for you. I mean, both MX fifties just unleash shell after shell, and although I am Sudemsian is one shot away from dying, a uh, grid stayed alive. I, I mean, that's just no question. This is going in serious way now. Yep, definitely. So. Insidious only losing one tank overall. That is making a statement right now. Predator down to 36 health. He's gonna get finished off by Nisa right here real soon, and only. Two tanks remaining. Yeah, and just Botech. Yeah, Botech is like at most. Wow, sure. I was yeah, yeah. not. I was not that. expecting that either. I wow. mean, you know what? Like you said, I think in Cities Gaming really missed a good opportunity to hunt their And they down. sent Botech down to the southern part of the map. I know, to which the, to is such a really. Island. I know. Although I, know. I can understand because maybe he was trying to cut off the retreating members. You know, once they if they actually made it all the way back to the base. But in Cities Gaming played that really well as well, backing up just the right amount to kind of bait efficiency come into them. And just create their own yeah, ambush, exactly, pretty much. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, and they had time to reload those autoloaders on those enemies. Indeed, you've got Carves here trying to drown himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Bootek not making that free dive off the cliff? No. Probably not. It's just going to wait until the timer I runs feel like out. I feel like efficiency is just sitting there in disbelief. I well, feel like I mean, you know what? I think they're really ruining uh, uh, the chance that they missed, pretty much. Because you're right. You're absolutely right. Once they got like uh, the uh, initial engagement uh, to their advantage, and once they took out Death Guys and his T32, it was a great trap. 
pretty much to the northeast. Once they got that out of the northern pass, they, they should have pressed creeping. on. They should, yeah, they, they they should, should have pressed creeping. on because yeah. those tanks, those heavy tanks, would have taken a lot of time to retreat. And you know, no doubt they could have landed at least like three or four uh, uh, sneak shots, and that would have clearly have given them the advantage uh, after that, like you know, uh, uh, for the next engagement. But they didn't.